Hello everybody, uh, my name is Nathan Johnson. I'm just gonna give it a couple minutes till uh, uh, the, the first few people start to sign on and then I've got a whole bunch of things to say. Today's topic is going to be all about building our kits. So I'm gonna wait till a few people sign on and then we're gonna have a tremendous amount of fun talking about the magic of a true professional makeup artist's kit, how to build it, how to build it economically, and smart decisions to make along the way, the, the things that we need, right? So it's gonna be a tremendous amount of fun. Um, all right, so um, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Nathan Johnson. Um, I am very privileged to be the executive makeup artist at QC, it's a great privilege that, that I have to be able to uh, be a part of yours and so, so many people's lives and making sure people learn makeup properly. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the, our, our belief at QC is about, uh, it's not about the money we can take from people. It's about the quality education that we can provide for people. That's why this, the entire program is, it, it's set up, it's the best of the best of the education that I ever received that set me up to be ready to work with celebrities almost immediately and has given me a decade's worth of uh, journey working at a very high level. And I'll tell you something, it's, it's all about the education, the practice. And one of the things that I wanna commend you guys on, those of you who are taking the time to tune in, um, these webinars that QC um, al allows me to do with you guys, they're pretty darn spectacular because one of the greatest things that we can do is keep learning, right? And these webinars are continued education. So it's an awesome opportunity for you guys to benefit, you know, being um, those of you that are students and those of you that are just uh, so far followers of the schools and school and hopefully eventually students. Um, it gives you guys a great opportunity to continue your education, keep your passions fueled, keep thinking about things from a different perspective. So guys, please, please, please always take advantage of these uh, classes. They're completely free to you. And if you can't make it work in your schedule, that is not the end of the world. They're always available on Instagram and YouTube. So um, never stop learning, my loves. It's one of the greatest things. And when you keep an attitude of a lifelong learner, one of the most awesome and magical things that's going to happen is you're going to always be learning, always be growing, always be reshaping and challenging your artistry, which is a pretty awesome thing. So um, here we go. So for those of you who don't know who I am beyond QC's uh, executive makeup artist, I am, um, I've been in the industry for an extremely long time. I'm like a, uh, God, I, I, I entered the industry when um, the earth was formed. So um, I've, been, I've been kicking around forever, right? I've worked in a lot of different places. I've worked predominantly with celebrities. I've worked with over 700 at this point. Some of the most mo notable names include Paul McCartney, Liza Minnelli, RuPaul, Alicia Keys, Kate McKinnon, Leah Michelle. Uh, I was the artist on two seasons of TV's Project Runway, which um, probably was a huge um, stepping stone in my career. And um, I've been an executive artist and trainer for brands including Sephora, Cover FX, uh, I've designed more than 20 um, official New York Fashion Week shows. I have, um, yes, um, Harleen, I, I was the makeup artist on two seasons of Project Runway. So if you go back and watch, you will see me. Um, you can also do some Googling and see me on news shows doing uh, makeup demos from years ago. I was a little thinner and I didn't have quite as much silver. Um, but um, today's topic is going to be a really awesome one. We're going to talk about how to build our, our kits as professional makeup artists. And I want to tell you guys, this is one of the absolute most popular topics and with good reason there's there's a lot of things that are are necessary for us to be great artists right at the very top of that list is our training now your training this is an interesting thing right a lot of people um someone actually i just had a student write into me it was a, a brand new student a unit a student and at the very end in the questions to the tutor section she said to me uh, can you guarantee me that this course is going to be worth my while? Now, here's the thing. I cannot make any such guarantee to anybody. Here's why. Everything you need is in these courses, right? But I can't control you. I can't control what you do. I can't control whether or not you truly practice. I can't control the effort you put in. I can't control the time you put in to master these techniques. Now. Classic makeup artistry techniques, they're not the rules of makeup. I call them guidelines because everything is always based on classic technique. 
trends shift and change, but if you look at them, you'll be like, oh wow, like the current, you know the Instagram eyebrow, the current Instagram eyebrow, it's super light and then overshaped and it gets darker and darker and darker. Well, that doesn't look like a real eyebrow, right? It attracts a lot of attention. It's barely done in the real world, but wildly done on Instagram and YouTube. Why? Because they need new content, right? Secondly, um, if you look at it and just take a, just a second and look at the classic eyebrow that I teach you, you know, based on the shapes. And we did a webinar last month on shapes. And if none of you saw that webinar, go back and watch it. It will, for the, if any of you saw that, leave some comments here and tell me if that has transformed the way that you consider changing features, balancing, catching focus. If you guys haven't seen that, go back and watch it. It's, it's, I'll be honest, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of wildly, wildly proud of that one, and there's a lot of education in it. But you know, going back to you know why education and knowledge is so important, um, you have to learn. And when you learn these classic techniques and you look at this eyebrow, suddenly you're going to realize, oh my God, this trendy eyebrow has all the marks of classic technique. But then look what they're doing: they're ombreing it, and then they're making it super dark out here, like a dramatic 1950s brow. Wow, it's the classic technique, but it's changed putting two pieces together, right? That's the thing. Everything, makeup is cyclical. And so often, guys, it's really just variations on a classic. When you know classics, you're making decisions by choice. You're making decisions by reason. And you're truly, truly, truly working from the perspective of an artist and never from the perspective of a copier. Pretty awesome, right? And that's why education is so important. So let's get into this, right? Um, I, I told you education is one of the number one primary things. What do we need? You can't do your job unless you have a great kit, right? You just have to. You have to have a fantastic kit. So how do we do that and not uh, have to take out a mortgage, right? Can be expensive, right? Uh, I'll tell you. There's lots of awesome stuff um, and lots of ways to build it smartly. And we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. One of the biggest bonuses of um, being with QC, which I think is uh, pretty amazing, is they give you a pretty fantastic kit. It, it really is fantastic. And I'm going to tell you, I, we can't post it right now because it's not finished, but I just did uh, makeup on a whole bunch of um, Broadway talent for a major um, charity music video that's going to, uh, oh, I think it's going to be released sometime in September or October. But, we're, you know, QC will put that up. And a tremendous number of the products I used on this talent was the products that's, that are in the kit. What I wanted to do was show people that these kit, these products can truly, truly, truly be used on a professional level, and they can. So let's talk about um, what you get when you join QC. One of the very first things that you get, oh, and before we do, let me just tell you, QC has a promotion. It's a back to school promotion. What better time to learn than now? So um, it's also a great time to re energize yourself, right? Re-energize yourself into, um, into makeup and learning. So if you've got a course and you haven't been taking it, what's holding you back? If you haven't been practicing enough, what's holding you back? Start now, right? It's back to school. Life is always going to happen, guys. It's always, always going to happen. So we've got to, like, look at this. Who are some of the people that you consider the most accomplished? Beyonce? Uh, Ariana Grande. I mean, we can go through a huge list, right? The important thing that I have to say to you guys is they have the exact same 24 hours that you have. How are you going to use them? You carve out 20 minutes for yourself. It can change your life. It can change your future. Sometimes the littlest, tiniest decision, the littlest, tiniest step will change everything, okay? So if you've gotten through your master makeup artistry, well, look at Pro Makeup Workshop. Look at Global Beauty okay and contact me on Instagram or Facebook I'm at Nathan Walnut I can give you solid recommendations um, for what and why based on where you want to go and I'm very 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 happy to help any and all of you but don't forget um, sometimes it takes me a little bit while to see them because I get so many but nobody will ever be forgotten if for any reason you are forgotten send a message to QC and say get this message to Nathan I'm sick of it and I will answer it for you okay so um, some of the things that you uh, okay so our promotion number one um, you're going to be able to make a smaller initial payment and then smaller monthly payments, which is pretty awesome, right? So it makes it more reasonable to everybody. Um, part of the reason, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you why QC does this um, and why I'm so proud to be a part of the QC family. It's expensive to learn. It's expensive to learn appropriately. And 
a lot of people come on and offer bad education at really low prices. So what QC does is offer incredibly solid education and then keeps it in a place where it's very e extremely affordable to people. The education that you guys can get at QC is 100% on par. It's 100% on par and honestly more cohesive than the education that I got. We put it together for very smart reasons, right? And um, used wisely, it can shape a career for you that will blow your mind used wisely back to it being about you right so um that being said it's 89 dollars in lowly, lower monthly payments if you guys want to join us if you're not with us yet and um you, the, the lower price hopefully makes it more reasonable within everybody's budget because you know once you learn let's be honest book two brides the entire course is paid for itself book two bridal parties you know what i mean uh book book brides through a summer and all the advanced courses are paid for makeup will pay for itself if you apply yourself and it'll pay for itself uh like that and it will pay time and time and time again it can transform your life right um additionally when you enroll um now and this is this is true for new enrollees and any of our existing um students who um, enroll in any new courses, you are gonna get um, an awesome additional um, kit. And I'm gonna tell you something. Some of these things are really awesome. I'm kind of, I'm kind of um, re-obsessed and invigorated by some of these products, and we're gonna talk about them. Okay. So um, one of the first things that you get is an 88 shade shade eye, eyeshadow palette. Okay. Um, oh, and guys, um, the amazing, um, the amazing team at QC, Corina, uh, got me a, a new light. So if you guys can see me a little more clearly, uh, give Karina a thank you. She, uh, she takes care of everything. So um, here's the palette. These eyeshadows have a lot of pigment in them. They, one of the things that you can see with makeup and whether or not it's a quality product is whether or not there is opacity to the shadows that you intend for there to be opacity to, right? Um, sometimes you're going to look at products in a container. How many of you have taken a product home, right? You bought something because you loved what it looked like in the store, and then you're like brushing and brushing and brushing, and you can't, and, and, and you barely in any color on your lid. That's because there's an extreme, there's an extreme amount of talc in those products, and it only looks that color because it's that thick. When something is pigment heavy, do you see that I just picked that up, dabbed it on, I used almost nothing, and I've got a true rich read of color? And then if I want to play with it and smoke it, look what I can do. That's some, that's some pretty awesome product, right? So, they're great. You know, you're, you're going to find, um, the, the, these products in here, they, they really do rival a lot of the, the pro eyeshadows you're going to find. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with them. My, the one thing I wish, okay, and I'm gonna be selfish here, I wish they were bigger. I wish they were bigger, they're small. I wish they were bigger, but you know what? There's so many colors, they allow you so much opportunity, but I'll be honest, um, you are gonna need to add some colors to this, but that's the reality, and we're gonna talk a lot more about this. Now, somebody put a, um, there's two things up that I know um, Karina will address right away. Um, number one, does this um, offer work for existing students? Um, yeah, you get you get all the special products, and if you take a new course, um, the the payment guidelines will also be adjusted for you. That's something that um, everybody can take care of. And secondly, someone asks if there is a link regarding the um, the special, and that will go up shortly. Don't you worry, my darlings. So um, the eyeshadow palette, it's kind of amazing, right? You've seen the power of it, and it just goes and goes and goes. Now look at it, I'm scrubbing at it, and it's still just blending and blending and blending out. So you can go from super rich to super blended, all kinds of awesome stuff, right? Um, now, let's look at the second product. It's the blush palette. I just used these, well, I, I used all these products this past week, but the blushes, it's the same thing. They're super pigmented. What's the difference between, this is how big I wish the eyeshadows were, right? Because I'm greedy, but then you know the palette would have, <laughs> it would be like six foot by six foot. Um, these are super, super pigmented too. What's the difference between blush and eyeshadow? It's the color. They're, they're still, they should, still should be pigment rich. So here's the danger. Now this is a good and bad thing, right? Because they're so pigment rich, they're gonna last a long time. But because they're so pigment rich, if you overuse them, you're gonna get super aggressive cheeks. So be very light handed with these because you can get some, um, um, you can get some, you can get some, um, overly aggressive, um, applications in those cheeks, right? So, um, these are awesome. You're going to love them. Now, do you see how your kit's being incredibly built already? Now, take a look at this, the lip palette. 
These are actually the perfect size. There's an extraordinary number of choices in here, from the nudist of the nudes onward, and all kinds of things to start to create some amazing effects. Like products like this, teamed in the center, can kind of create some amazing things when mixed with some of the other colors. This in the center, amazing. Taking a, you know, a much deeper shade, working it around, and then working something brighter um, in the middle, you can get these, ooh, puckered lips that are just awesome. This is a pretty, um, this is a pretty fantastic um, palette. I love it. Um, you get everybody um, when they sign up for the the basic course gets that and another thing that everybody gets is this um, this concealer and color correct kit now color correctors are essential um, here's the thing concealers have a super high pigment load and some of these if you um, if you start to look at them um, Claire what am I showing right now I'm showing everything that comes in the QC uh, makeup kit and I haven't gotten to the additional items yet that come to all graduates and everybody who signs up um, during this promotion So you can see there's a wide array both of undertone um, in here because you can see the warm versus the cool, right? Um, mix them to get neutral and you can also see that they have a wide spectrum now you need something in between you mix them You mix them right um, color correctors amazing this one right here It's gonna change your life. It's gonna change your life when you use that very lightly below the eye on anybody who's medium deep shade downward, bang, sheerly, their dark circles are going to be gone. Look at mine. That's what's under my eyes right now. Gone. Love it, right? This, used extremely lightly, is going to get rid of everybody's um, red spots, breakouts. But here's the mistake with color correctors. Want to know what a lot of people do? Because they watch Instagram and YouTube and they watch people slather product on. It's not how you use it. It needs to be used color correcting um, for those of you that are in um, the master makeup artistry program you know the really boring exercise we do on the back of the arm where you start with the blush super dark and you bring it super light and then you've got one eyeshadow here and one eyeshadow here and you got to blend them in the middle those you should be practicing way more than you think because here's the thing they will teach you so much about color science shifting shaping colors it's kind of amazing and nobody puts enough practice into that because they all want to run to doing the look right but don't you realize a look is only a combination of techniques spend so much time on the technique it'll dazzle you right so when you start mixing these colors what you're seeing is the basis of color science yellow blue in the very middle 50 50 blend is going to be true green right so two primary colors make a secondary color all right. Now, how does this all connect to the eyes? I'll tell you in a minute. So then when we start um, using a little less blue as we go toward the yellow, that green is going to turn into lime. It's going to turn into chartreuse. It's going to turn into um, the, the yellow. On the opposite side, as you add less yellow, that is going to turn into teal, jade, blue. How does this begin to teach you color science? Because two colors just made, two primaries just made secondaries, tertiaries, beyond that, right? So. When you've got darkness or any kind of color below the eyes, you've got to think, okay, what do I need to get a 50-50 mix with it to turn into flesh tone? Because has anybody forgotten that every foundation is simply made of three primary colors and lightened or dark darkened by black and white? That's how they're all made. That's how everything is made, from three colors. So if you can do that with three colors, why can't you take a color correcting product and pop up one area for maximum brightness below the eyes? You can. It's color science. It starts with what we do on the back of the arm. Take it way more seriously than you think you need to. It's all there for a reason, right? So when you're using the green lightly over the red, back to the foundation principles, everything starts to become a flesh tone. You put your product over it, bang. It's perfect. It's, it's settled, right? Um, when you're working with your pinky peach over these areas of darkness, it neutralizes it and it becomes a flesh tone. You know, you can, you can enliven enliven sallow skin with a little bit of purple you know there's so many things that these products can do and they're amazing and you know what maybe we should do one day if it really interests you guys maybe we'll have a day where we really you know because last time we really talked about shape and angles maybe we'll do one all about um undertones color corrections things like that so if that's something that interests you Tell the, tell, the, tell the QC team and we'll make it happen for you. Because here's the thing, guys. This education, this knowledge, it's about you. It's about pushing you guys forward, which is why I'm so glad that you're here. So that comes in your kit as well. It's phenomenal. All right, now let's talk about what comes, uh, what are the, some of the special items that, that you everybody gets for the back to school and everybody um, who signs up 
existing students and take a course which you also get at 50% off as usual once you're um once you're in our family you're in our family for life guys so that means that you will always 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 get 50% off every course going forward all right and you also get these additional items um this I, I, the reason mine's still in its package, it comes in a package like this, is because I have two of them. Um, yeah, I have two. You know, um, I love them. They have a, see how rounded they are? They're so, oh, do you like that little sparkle that I'm catching there? Because they're so rounded, they get the full length of the eye, you see? They get the full length of the eye. They're pretty amazing. So they work on an extraordinary number of people. They're great. Um, they're great. How do you use a curler properly? Does everybody know? Get it as close as you can to the lash line without sucking their skin in because God, that'll make people cry, right? And then pump, pump, pump. Not so hard that you crimp them because that's hideous. Um, pump, 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 and then slowly walk it out as you continue to pump. And they will be open, bright, feathery, wide-eyed for days, right? Um, this comes in, uh, it's an additional item. It's a great product, right? Um, an additional um, fantastic product. Sorry guys, it's a little further away from me than I was expecting. Um, and what did I do with it? I found it. It's this lash applicator. All right. Pick up the lash, plant it on, tuck, 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 it's in, right? Um, so I'll be honest, it's a great product, but I'm old school. I, I do it with a product we're going to talk about later. I, I do it with my tweezer mats. I have this fantastic polka dot pair, and that's what I, what I use, because I'm just used to it, so it's faster and easier for me. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that, but the thing is, it's smart to have these tools because you can always play an experiment, right? And you can learn, and you might find you love something more than um, something else. Now, let me tell you something. These are QC's new lashes. Guys, they're amazing, they're so amazing. I'm, I'm beyond obsessed with these. Uh, beyond, I'm like obsessed into next week with these. They are so fantastic. They sit so naturally on the eye. I'm, I'm telling you, um, I have, a, I have a, a Broadway leading lady who's obsessed with them. She always asks, did you bring those eyelashes? She's talking about these. They're amazing. They're in your kit. They're amazing. They're amazing. Um, they're crazy, crazy good. Now, another thing that I love and I'm kind of blown away with by is this QC palette. I love it. Um, you should always, always, always be taking your liquids, powders, your liquids and your creams out of their palettes because you don't want to, um, you don't want to ruin anything, right? Everything needs to remain hygienic. And I'm equally, equally obsessed with this palette knife. A great palette knife can be hard to come by. I had a great one. I have a great one, right? I found it. This one rivals it. It's pretty fantastic. And what I'm going to tell you about this great palette knife, if you ever do some special effects, because the edges are so soft, but you see, some palette knives are sharp. This one's not, see? So if you're starting to do any of the effects, you can pick up a little bit of, you know, if you're trying to do, you learn scrapes and gashes and things like that, right? So if you get a little of your, um, your cream red and you pull it right down with the smooth edge of this, three in a row, it's like, you know, because scratches can be, it can be from a cat or from some monster that got you. Who knows? It could be, could be a whole bunch of stuff, right? One, two, three lines, pick up the black, go right in the center, take a little blood, go right to, bang. The work made so much easier. Scrape out your palettes, your, scrape out your products, smear them on here, get your brushes, work with them. These are awesome. Love them, right? They're in your, they're in your kit. Great palette knives can cost anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. It's in your kit. You know, it's amazing. So let's talk about another awesome thing. This contour palette. So do you see the variety of shades that are in there? One of the things that I'm gonna tell you, and don't make this mistake, okay? Don't make this mistake. People contour too dark. Contour should not be visible. You should see the effects, but you shouldn't, shouldn't see the project product. If at any point you're seeing all this brown, 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 you, you screwed up. It should be a tiny bit darker than the skin. Okay, pretty amazing, right? So um, these provide you a lot of opportunity, but make sure they're undertone appropriate for the client that you're working on, which is why undertone is so important. If they're not undertone appropriate, what's gonna happen is you're going to, uh, people could start to look a little gray or orange in these areas. So you've re that's why learning these classic techniques and um, inc increasing our knowledge is always so incredibly important. So um, another product that's included are these highlighters. They're a lot of fun. This one can give, depending on where you use it, gives this luminosity that's just, 
you know, spiking through the body. It's amazing. These are, you know, this one right here, I would probably use more as illuminating bronzer. Um, but you know, when you've got somebody with deeper skin, so if you've got somebody with lighter skin, it's illuminating bronzer. If you've got somebody with deeper skin, it's an amazing highlight. So they all have multiple purposes, right? This one right here, amazing as a base shade. Um, or right on a pop on the lid. You want to get it. You want to make blue eyes really sparkle. Take a little bit of this one and work it just into a little spot. Boom, boom, boom. You'll get all that sparkle in the eye. It's amazing, and s the pigmentation is superior. It's pretty awesome. You get a huge pack of these uh, these beauty blenders, and they're all different kinds of shapes. Beauty blenders are great because guess what? They do not harbor bacteria. They're hypoallergenic. Does that mean you just go from one client to the next? No, you get some soap and water and you rinse them out, but then they're ready to go. They don't. The good news about them is they don't have to dry. They make their magic when they're wet and you get a whole bunch of them here. So you have plenty of time to wash one, set it down, start with the next. They're pretty, they're pretty spectacular, right? So you also get, guys, um, I'm sorry about this because this is something that you get in the full kit. I jumped onto the other products. You get a crazy awesome brush set right um, they are all vegan brushes so they're um, they're pretty they're pretty amazing and you can do a tremendous amount of things with them one thing I'm gonna tell you guys about brushes and anybody's advice about brushes brushes always have a retail definition right know what they are try them experiment with them but here's the thing okay try them try doing other things with them because some of my favorite tricks are with brushes that they're not intended for. You know, you wanna get some really beautiful smudge from your um, sort of fast drying eyeliners like uh, Aqua Eyes by Makeup Forever, try your lip brush. You can do some pretty awesome stuff, right? And it's so precise. So don't be afraid to experiment, all right? That's a pretty awesome thing. Um, now, what, what else here? Um, oh my God, this thing. I put it, I, I washed it out and I put it back in its, um, in, in its package because it's just too hard to show otherwise. Um, here it is. This brush cleaner, it's amazing. In the old days, I was cleaning my brush. You clean them again and again and again. You're on your hand, you're on a, um, you're on a washcloth. Then you gotta sit them to dry, it takes forever. This has so many different surfaces you can get in with every kind of brush. It's amazing, I, I love it. I personally love it. Here's the one thing that I um, encourage you to consider though with that, okay? After you clean your brushes, Make sure that you, when you set them down, you don't set them on a flat surface. Like if this is the hair, don't set it flat because it'll dry flat. Set it over the edge of a counter so that they can return to their normal shape, okay? That's the one, um, the one little um, tip and you know, um, rub I give you there. Now, QCR also gives you this makeup travel bag. At first I wasn't a fan of it, it's bulky, right? But I discovered something pretty amazing to do with it, all right? Um, See, it's round and it's got some ties. What I do with it, when my brushes are dirty at the end of the day, I put them in here, I pull it shut, see what it does? It forms this little pouch. I've got the mouth of my brushes in there. All the handles are sticking out right here. Dirty brushes inside. Because it's a, um, a polyester, it comes so clean. I get my brushes home, I open it up, I clean them at the end of the day, and I reset this to use next time. So at first I wasn't a fan of it for what it was intended for, and then I found a purpose for it that I adored. So there's there's all kinds of really awesome stuff in here, and I, I'm i pretty sure that I've covered every single product within it. Um, every student who signs up, again, if you're an existing student, you still get your 50% off and you get all the new awesome stuff, okay? So it's worth considering. Now let's, um, now so you can see how cohesive your kit is to begin with when you start with the products that you're given, right? It's really, really, really cohesive. So what do you need to be able to take it further, right? One of the most important things that I can say to you is you need a variety of primers. Don't, never, never, never believe a brand that says, I am a one size fits all product. Never, never, never believe any product that says, um, for all skin types. Okay, something like hyaluronic acid, it is for all skin types because it hydrates, that's what it does. But when you're trying to look at something like a primer, well, people who have oily skin cannot use the same exact product as people who have dry skin. If those ingredients were in there, the ingredients for dry skin are different than those for um, oily. And if they're in the product together, they're just neutralizing each other. That just means it's average, it's generic. Do you wanna get fantastic um, longevity, final finish, you 
have to have to have great products so with that in mind how do you know what to use on your clients guys listen take the skincare course if you guys haven't taken that yet and are and are considering it take the skincare course trust me um my makeup artistry transform. I, I, I got my esthetician's license midway into my career, not because I wanted to be an esthetician, but because I knew that I needed to know skin if I wanted to be a great makeup artist. So the reason this skincare course exists and the reason it's affordable is I had to spend, after everything I had to buy for it, close to $20,000 to get my esthetician's license. $20,000 because I knew I needed to know my palate. I knew I needed to know the ingredients that worked best on, pardon me, <coughs> know the ingredients that worked best on my palate if I was going to be able to deliver fantastic results. So that's why we created this course. Again, do you have to spend $20,000? No, but is it something you need to learn? Yes, it is in order to be great. So someone asked, what kind of primers do I recommend? Um, my favorite, my person, there, there's a lot that I've used over the years, but my personal favorite primers are by Cover FX because they're extremely cohesive. They have a primer, um, they're anti-age primer and they're hydrating primer. It's, um, it's a golden yellow color, but it goes on. It, everybody talks immediately because it's got four vitamins in it. And these vitamins immediately neutralize redness on skin. And nine times out of 10, people go, oh my God, my face. And it just takes such good care of the skin, right? It's a pretty, 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 pretty amazing thing. Um, and then um, if you have um, dry skin or mature skin, um, normal skin, it's an amazing product because it just evens out, it evens out the skin, makes everything look absolutely perfect, right? And it gives beautiful glide to the product, but it also fills the pores. Now, why do I love Cover FX's mattifying anti-acne treatment? Because it's a true primer with great silicone, evens out the skin, smooths it, fills the large pores, and it also just lets the product glide on beautifully and effortlessly, right? Um, because it's got willow bark in it, it um, evens out the oil production. It starts to realign pores. It, willow bark works like a Mr. Pac-Man, right? Um, so does salicylic acid in the right percent, and what you learn in skincare, right? And it eats away the dead skin cells that dull your skin, but also the dead skin cells that are clogging up your pores, making them bigger, right? So a lot of amazing stuff will happen um, when you use the right primers, which is why I recommend at bare minimum have two, but um, ideally it's, um, it's smart to have what you need. But I recommend um, have a few have a few products okay um someone said that i'm um, i'm the tutors for everything uh, i'm not we have a we have a bunch of fantastic tutors we have every one of our tutors has uh resumes similar to mine so we have a really great um we have a really great array of um tutors who are well educated and will do their best to push you we all have different styles my style is tough love meaning i will be completely honest with you so I'm sure some of you um, are on here with me and you've gotten feedback from me you probably didn't like, but every bit of the feedback is, um, and clear lip liner, we're gonna talk about that in a second, don't worry, that's coming up. Um, my, my belief with makeup is um, I have to, when you work with me, I don't just teach you technique, I teach you to retrain your eye. You can't fix what you can't see. So a huge part of what we're gonna do is make you see things in a different way. You've gotta see them. When you see them, you change the eye, you change the mind, you change the hand. Okay, so that's a huge part of the way that um, we're gonna work um, together on these sections. Another thing um, that we'll do is I'm very technique specific. So, but every single person that you're gonna work with here, they all have their different approach. But here's the thing, guys, here's the thing. Everybody's approach is going to be for your greater good and everybody's committed to your excellence. So if you, if you end up with um, a tutor, wish you had a different one, switch if you don't like me you can switch to somebody else you know we're here and we're here for your education but everybody wants you to be your best that's why um that's why it's got such a quality tight team of people right so um now um i told you guys that you need a variety of primers you do but you have to understand skin so you can control longevity final finish um Hinton, how do you know who your tutor is? In the, um, in the online student center, you'll have a little intro and you'll have a recording from your tutor. Um, if I'm your tutor, the intro is a little old. Um, if you wanna choose your tutor, yes, you can call and adjust your tutor. Um, okay, so um, that in mind, sticking in the primer direction, you also need eyeshadow primer. Why? Because eyes, do you know eyes are the, of, of the entire body, touch your face, now touch your eye. 
you're gonna notice it feels dramatically hotter. Even feel below it. It's dramatically hotter than even a, a few centimeters below. Why? Why? Because the eye never stops working. So it's very hot. It's got a, gives off a lot of energy, a lot of heat. That's why so many things melt around and below them. That's why you've got to use sheer layers and powder them. That's why you need a primer and you've got to make sure that the powder's going well. That's how you will stop things from creasing. But you need an eyeshadow primer. My favorite, my personal favorite is the Urban Decay, as, as you can see. You see how I'm kind of milking it down to the last drop? I'm obsessed with it. And um, they also have variations in other shades. Sometimes I like to do luminous gold looks, so I use this gold one to lay down the gold and get an amazing gold. Um, application, but this is a pretty awesome product. Um, other things that you need are fo foundation varieties. People always um, say to me, do I need foundations in a, a million different formulations? Well, yes. And here's why. Because everybody's skin is different. You have to know people's skin and what's necessary for it, but additionally, the kind of product that you use on your client will also determine the final finish. So that is super important knowledge to have. So my advice to people have um, some quality liquids, powders, and creams. Do I have many powders? No. See the, see the white cases? That, those are my foundation powder, powders, and actually I think one or two of them are bronzers. I don't have many because powder has a wide range of people that it works well on right so I've found that I don't need that many um, when it comes to my creams I have some I have some creams that I like um, there's a company that I adore called three custom color specialists right they have something that is called their professional palette with cream concealers but they're not just concealers they're concealers and foundations they're wicked pigmented check it out see it super tiny they all fit right in your kit. These are so awesome, and they cover such a wide variety of people, and you can mix them into so many things. Um, and if you want to change this into a liquid, get a product like Embryolisse, and we're going to talk about that more in a minute. Suddenly, a little bit of Embryolisse in this, can, more Embryolisse turns it into a tinted moisturizer. But when you're starting to choose your foundations and you're starting to choose those products, the thing that I, I want to tell you to use care and caution with, start with the category of people you work most with. Like, like, let's say, for example, um, you're, um, you're Asian and everybody you, that you work with is in a color category similar to yours. Get that color category, but then get a really dark one and a really light one so you can take it where you need to. Okay, let's say that you're um, dark-skinned and 90% of your clients are deep, rich, and dark, right? So three custom color specialists. Um, is the company. Um, if they're, if 90% of your clients are rich and dark, well, then why do you have um, a million shades that are pale and light? Am I saying you won't need those? Of course, you need to be able to work on a global palette. But to begin your kit, work where, fill it where you're most immediately working right and I don't want you to do that to limit yourself I want you to do that because you can always keep adding and you've got the light and the dark right so you can take anything anywhere you need it to anything right because you can always just bring it down you can mix the shades you can have a couple of lighter shades you know one or two lighter ones and, a, and then a super light like a white to bring stuff absolutely anywhere so fill it in the direction starting with where you are and then branching out from there you know like a sunflower I don't know what I'm trying to say but you know what I mean so build it slow and forever you're asking do I recommend the makeup forever um, foundation palette if you love it a lot of people love the Bobbi Brown palette if you love it get the foundation that you most love what do I love I love that product by three custom color specialists I love these foundations by Beauty Society because I helped to develop them and they color adjust there's five shades and they're liquid and they color adjust I love them I love them right um, I love the foundations. Oh, there's there's so many that I love. I mean, the Armani the Armani foundations are beautiful. There's so many beautiful foundations. The RCMA foundations are beautiful. There's a lot of really beautiful foundations, but it's what you love. Eve Pearl's foundations are beautiful. It's what you love, right? So, and that and one of the things that I always also say to people when you're building your kit and anything I'm going to talk about here, anytime you can get it from a pro store, um, you can always get samples. Before you dive right in with your, with buying something, get samples and try it on a few people. Because don't buy those super expensive products unless you're sure you love it. Because you got to get a life out of it. You have to get a life out of it. So that's the that's the number one thing that I recommend. Try these things. So you're gonna need these variations. 
you need your lighteners and darkeners get your embryo lease in case you want to turn your creams into your liquids right these are these are pretty um pretty smart things to do now what's another thing that you absolutely have to have and here's where i'm going to talk about clear lip liners right you have to have lip liners but do you need a million of them no you don't um can like at a bare minimum this would be my advice to you at a bare minimum get a really generic one that works on just about everybody do you see this one it's by mac and it's called spice this is such a great product look at the color can you see how many lipsticks that would work with it'd be a, it's a great w w way to just even out make sure things don't bleed another great one to have is a clear one and then have one red because you can't lay this down with a red right so if you have one red because red has to be so precise you have to line it right that's what I recommend um, have as have a red have a clear have something that's just so usable like um, spice or something something similar in that in that kind of a tone right that just works on everybody it's just miraculous um, works on everybody right that's my advice so when it comes to eyeliners there's a lot of questions about eyeliners what do I need what do I use what's powders versus liquids versus gels um, versus creams all of that right what do I most use I most use powders I'll be completely honest with you but when I need a certain kind of finish I love my pencils um, make it forever's aqua eyes it's amazing Beauty Society has a really really incredible black liner it's incredible right um, it almost feels like it's wet and it's got a built-in sharpener which is always nice um, that's some th those are a couple of things I recommend but don't go out and buy a million eyeliners don't because you can use your eyeshadows right another thing another thing that you can do is you can take your you can get a mixing medium right and you can turn powder eyeshadows into liquid eye gels just get a mixing medium and you can get them at pro makeup stores right um probably not sephora but you can get them at like friends namies alcone any kind of and i'm sure you could probably find them on amazon other places like that but they, they're pretty amazing right um what's another um okay so that's how you can take your um eyeliners and make them into absolutely anything right um another thing um that you that you need is your setting powder my favorite setting powder is and always has been the setting powder by cover fx it's amazing they have um they have two shades they have a light and a deep um i'll be honest with you the light is so invisible you can use it on even the deepest 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 skin and you're not going to turn ashy it's pretty amazing but they, the the deeper shade they call it a comfort color they put a little bit of color in it just so people wouldn't feel like they were going to turn ashy right um but this product is so great see here it is but watch this and i'll do it well i'll do it right here like i'm putting it right there i've put it right you saw what color it was i'm putting it over the black you see it literally just sets it didn't turn anything ashy or or darker or deep now someone asked what's my take on a felt tip um eyeliner here's the thing you can't use anything that double dips on your client's eye so you can't really use it on anybody more than once so you got to take the product out put it on your palette and use an angle brush anyway so you you can't really use it and be hygienic you know what I mean so I recommend that you get products that you can really take out and apply that's the other reason there's cake eyeliner you can get them at professional stores that's the equivalent of using liquid liner in the pro world because you can get a liner brush that has a super fine tip on it that can be sanitized you use a little bit of water get this on and you turn the cake into a liquid it's an amazing product but with your mixing medium you can do that with any of your eyeshadows so it's a it's a it's a really awesome way to you know take those little um, little twists and um, directions setting setting powder is a must because it, it gives your makeup that longevity and it won't wear away so um, now I told you guys that you're gonna have to add to your eyeshadow kit right and you are because you don't have all the specialty colors that you're gonna need in there so you're gonna slowly have to add to it when you need things when you're ready to push and expand if you want to do outrageous colors get them you, you need them it's like there's a couple of you know products that I'm obsessed with one of my favorite eyeshadows on the planet people always 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 you can tell it's my favorite because look at it it's like abused I take it everywhere um, it's Bali by NARS I'm in love like look at it it's literally you can tell it's always in my bag but inside look at how completely um, sanitized it is you can see it's perfect right um, all you have is a little powder that closes on the top but um, this 
is one of my favorite eyeshadows because it's like a universal crease and smoking shade that is just ideal on just about everybody. I'm obsessed with it. You're going to need a few of those things that just pop for you, that just speak to you. They're important to have. This is one of them for me. Um, other things that you need, you need a great makeup remover. And I'm going to show you the one that I love. Um, the one that I love is extremely inexpensive. It's by Neutrogena and it's the oil-free eye makeup remover. I shook it so you see it becomes one, but it divides into two, so it gets everything off. Doesn't matter how stubborn it is. Why do you need a remover? You don't always take people's makeup off, right? You need a remover because if you make a mistake, especially if you get a dot of something on the eyelid or something falls away, you gotta be able to pick it up, take it away, right? And this is pretty amazing. So you need a makeup remover. It's, it's a product you absolutely, absolutely need. What else do you need if you're really gonna complete your kit? You need mascara. And one of my favorite mascaras, like there's a mascara called Better Than Sex that's, it's, it's great, it's great, okay? I love that one. Uh, the Givenchy um, mascara is great, the Chanel makeup mascara is great, but do you wanna spend that much? I don't. So what one have I found that I adore? Because remember, you can't use the brush. You cannot use that on your client. So what do you need? I use drugstores L'Oreal Voluminous. It's, my, it's mine of choice. Where did I learn about that? I learned about it on Project Runway because they were our sponsor. I, before that, I was using, I love Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. That's like 30 bucks, right? And you go through it pretty darn quick. This is seven, you know? So yeah, you got four of them, but you know, th th three and a half of them for the cost of one. And it's got just as long a life. So it's a product that, that I love with, So that I love. Those are some things that you need. Now, what are some items that you have to have in your kit pretty darn immediately? You have to have disposables. So remember I was saying you can't use your mascara wands, you gotta have spoolies. The best thing you can do is try and find an online retailer because if you go to a makeup specialty store, they rob you for these. They give you like 20 of them and they're $5. So I don't buy them there. The other thing that I always recommend that people have are these lip applicators because there are times that you're going to be asked to do makeup and then just leave stuff for people to do touch-ups leave them a little applicator and everything's okay, right? Another thing um, that that can be invaluable for is clean, sharp, precise lines. So that's incredibly important. Another um, disposable item that you need, cotton buds, right? Um, you can get the big ones, but one, one thing that I really, really, really love, and you gotta get them at a specialty makeup store, you have to get them online, are these. Look at those cotton buds. You see how precise and sharp they are? They're kind of amazing. There's the normal one. And there's the, like the ultra mini. I love them, right? So that's that's a good thing to have because you're gonna find it um, allows you a lot of um, versatility in what you're gonna clean clean up and correct. And also these cotton buds, if you gotta kind of get some lip gloss on a man really quick, mm -mm, done, right? So they're pretty great. So make sure you have your disposables. You also want to make sure that you've got plenty. I keep them in a bag so they're always safe. I always have um, some little cotton buds because people, cotton squares, people always come in and need something taken off, fixed, um, cleaned. You just need them. Where can you get makeup disposables, Make uh, professional makeup supply stores, any kind of beauty stores, Sally's, any kind of beauty stores that are local to you should have them. Um, you can also get them online. Um, oh, okay. What else do you absolutely need in your kit? Lashes. You need some lashes, right? Um, you can get lashes online for the best price, honestly. Or if you're close to Alcone, um, an Alcone, those are, you can get them really great there. That's where Diana Ross gets her lashes. I get a lot there as well. And you need adhesive. Now, my longtime favorite oh, he's, adhesive was Duo. And I predominantly use the dark tone if it had a black strip on it. Um, I'd use the clear if it didn't. But now I have found a new favorite thanks to a dear friend of mine, House of Lashes. Can you see it? There it is, House of Lashes. This is available at Sephora, it's available at all kinds of places, right? It goes on so thin and it dries so much quicker than Duo. So you got these on, it's got much better hold. It's my current new obsession. So you definitely need to have some of these. They're not overly expensive, they're reasonably priced. Okay, um, I also recommend eventually that you all have some mattifying powders. I have Matte FX um, by Cover FX. Here's the um, here's the medium shade. You can see that I, see that that I had to scrape some out to leave with some talent on set. I left that and a, a couple cotton squares, and they were able to do um, some touch-ups. Here's the deep shade. 
See, I had to shave some out. Or I used my palette knife, shaved some out. See, didn't compromise the product. And then they just dab it on if they've got shiny areas. Mattifying powders are super important, especially for these kind of areas, these kind of hot spots. See, I'm getting that white glow on my face that's dr drawing attention. You'd wanna, um, you'd wanna um, minimize that. Someone's asking about uh, latex-free lash adhesives. Um, it's 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 good to have them. It's good to have them. I don't. I don't. So if I find somebody who has um, a latex allergy, I just don't give them lashes. I build the mascara to give them a great feathery lash look. Um, but I don't carry it. But it is a good thing to, it is a good thing to have. Um, additionally, you want to have your tweezers. I already showed you mine. You want to have a small pair of scissors. What do you need these for? Trim your lashes. Lashes are almost always too long for most people. So you need your tweezers, you need your, la your small scissors. Okay, so now I want to talk to you guys about some of my favorite must-have items. I love, and I don't know if I talked about this, um, and I should have, also included in your kit with QC is these brow powders, right? The brush in it is pretty great because you can see it allows you to do gentle hair-like strokes, but it's also a great eyeliner brush. You've got a smudging brush here too. It's pretty great. Now, I'll be honest with you. I use this shade, this shade, this shade. This one it's a little too dark for me. Um, but there are people it works on. If, they're su if, if their skin is the right tone and their hair is dark enough, it does work. But I use this one far less. I use these three, and I'll sometimes use this to illuminate a little bit, right? Um, my other eyeshadow palettes, um, they're by Back to That Brand, Three Custom Color Specialists. I tend to be extremely brand loyal. Why do people love Three Custom Color Specialists? It's a pro brand. It's a pro brand and it's affordable. Half of Angelina's, uh, Angelina Jolie's eyeshadows are from there. Huge number of lipsticks worn by celebrities are from there. My all-time favorite lipstick is from there. You know, so um, I get my, I use those three brow powders in the middle most predominantly, and I use some brow powders by three custom color specialists. Um, another thing, you know, my foundations. What are the foundations that I love? Do you need variations in foundation? Yes, we already talked about that, right? You need variations in, um, foundation because every um, ingredient doesn't work for every skin type. So you got to know skin, you got to know ingredients, and you need variations, okay? Um, what are some of my favorite foundations? Like I said, I love the foundations by Cover FX. They are so gentle, even for the most sensitive or sensitized skin. They're so rich in pigment. You can use so little of it, and the skin looks perfect. If you use too much, people start to look like wax figures because there's so much pigment. But these, these tubes of foundation will last you forever. I love them. I absolutely love, love them. But here's the thing about foundations, guys, and I'll say this time and time again. Use what you love. Try them. Play with them. Go into these stores. Get to know them. Get to know these products, okay? Um, that's how you're going to fall in love with them. But you also got to know skin so you know what you're choosing and why. Color correctors. The color correctors in the QC palette are amazing, but what can you do in addition to that? I love Eve Pearl's Salmon um, Concealer and Treatments. They're amazing. They, they treat the eye to keep the skin soft, supple, protected. They neutralize everything. I love them. I love them. I've got them in my kit. I take them um, everywhere with me. There. See? They're right there. Take them everywhere with me. I love them. See, my, my kit's extremely small. Um, my kit is three of these. Everything fits, or you see I've got a lot of it out because I put a lot of it on the floor because I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, but, you know, everything, you know, that I need and love is right in here. You know, I said my absolute favorite lipstick is by Three Custom Color Specialists. Here it is. It's my absolute favorite lipstick. I love it. It's called Simply Beautiful. Um, it's a specialty order. You might not find it right on their site if it's something you're interested in, but it's pretty magical. You'll probably become obsessed with it. I am! Um, okay, um, other things that I love. The setting powders. You have to have a setting powder. You have to set your liquids and you have to set your creams. Otherwise, they can look slick, they can melt, things won't stay where you want them to stay. I most love, I've showed you my Cover FX setting powders. They're musts for me. But you know what else is also amazing? The Makeup Forever's HD. It's amazing. It's great, right? Um, silica, mica, they give... If, if you, People say, oh, but it'll give bounce back. I use it everywhere. It doesn't get... You know, I'm wearing it right now. You know, um, I use it everywhere. If you overuse products, sure, that can happen, but it's what I love, right? Um, oh, another product that I love. It's by Three Custom Color Specialists. Do you ever see the magazine covers and you'll see that the inner waterline, it's not white, but it just looks beautiful and clean? One of the secret products in that, and this is a, a favorite product of Jennifer Lopez, it's three custom color specialists clarifier pencil. 
See, there it is, three custom color specialists, and this one's the dark clarifier. They have it in dark and light. Use the dark shade on deeper, darker tones. Use the light shade on fairer tones. Pull the lash line down, get that water line, instantly awaken alert. It's an amazing product. It's a, it's a secret staple in a lot of makeup artists' kit, and it's something that I recommend for you. Um, you know, what are skincare items that I recommend for people? Well, there's a bunch of things that I recommend, but the best results comes from ongoing use. One of my favorite products is Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. I'm telling everybody to buy it because it cleans out your pores. It's amazing. It's an anti-ager. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. Um, and it's cheap. I love it, right? Um, uh, Laurie Mercier's setting powder is very nice. It is very nice. Um, and if you love her, um, her concealing duos are also very nice if you if you play with them and get to know them really well They're also very nice. Um, another skin product that I love you have to have Embryolisse. It it's great for everybody's skin It's it's a great prep before makeup because it really helps people who have dehydration It creates a nice smooth surface. It's a pretty great product and it allows you to take your foundations and change their intensity So that's another thing that I recommend um, other skincare products that I recommend um, that you really need, get what you love, right? Get what you love. If you got specific questions about that, we can do a whole, um, a whole additional webinar on skin. Um, I already talked about primers and why it's so important to have a range of them. At least have two. At least have two, right? Um, what's we've already talked about eyeshadows versus um, pencils and liquids. Um, eyeshadows depending on how you use them, might not have the same intensity. The most intensity is always gonna come from your liquids and your gels, but with a mixing medium, you can turn your powders into a liquid or a gel, right? Pretty amazing. So, um, also, if you ever forget your mascara and you have gel and a fan brush, Oh, and a fan brush is also an awesome alternative to having the disposable spoolies. I'm trying to phase the spoolies out. I just haven't found the fan brush that I love yet. When I get a mini fan brush that I really love, I'm not going to use those uh, spoolies anymore because they destroy the environment, right? So those are on their way out for me. Um, my favorite makeup brushes. I took a few out because I wanted to show you guys some things that I love. The QC brushes are pretty extraordinary, right? Um, but I also have some staple brushes that I am obsessed with. This is the concealer brush, again, by three custom color specialists. Yeah, there it is. Look at the shape of that. Can you see that it just gets up and in there? Gets around, gets all these nooks and crannies. I'm obsessed with it. It's amazing. Um, the Sephora Pro brand brushes, they have a silver handle. Um, they're awesome. I don't know if the, their handles are all silver now because I just went in the other day to check. Um, a must for me is this blender brush. It's pretty darn fantastic. You see a little product on it because when I was sitting here waiting to start the webinar, I was playing with these brushes and powder. So they're not dirty. I was literally just playing with them, but I am gonna clean them before I use them on my client. These are some smudger brushes that I use all the time. Or if I need some nice tight shadows somewhere, these work really great. An equally, guys, this was an accident. I went into the dollar store and I found these e.l.f. brushes. They're awesome. I use this one on almost everybody. So may, I was playing with this one just a few minutes ago too. Um, all of them actually, they were out, so I was playing with them. Um, I love them, they were a dollar, guys, and I use them on everybody. I have some brushes in my kit that were 70 bucks. These were $1. Um, they're a must have, those, so those are some things that I love. Um, what are drugstore products that I love? Drugstore versus um, pro products. Well, um, great drugstore products. I. Drugstore lipsticks are great. Why buy a pro lipstick? They're wax and pigment. They've got the colors you like. I have plenty of great MAC lipsticks. I have plenty of great expensive lipsticks. I do, I do. But do you know the majority of my lipsticks, the vast majority of them, let me see. I've got, oh, the vast majority of my, this is a Japanese lipstick palette, right? The majority of my lipsticks, do you see it's got um, room for product on both sides? The majority of my lipsticks in here the majority, uh, I would say on 25% MAC and Pro brands and then 75% drugstore. And you wouldn't know what's what. You just wouldn't know. See, you have no idea. Um, yeah, and I have a bunch of three custom color specialists because I'm obsessed with them. Um, you, your, your mascaras, your eyeliners, your lip liners, all of that can be drugstore, all of it. I, I use lots of drugstore for that. Um, another thing that I love is Mary Lou Matte. Oh, and I already showed you guys um, the Neutrogena remover. Now you can see it's starting to separate. See, it's a pretty great product. 
Um, the Mary Lou Manizer is an absolute favorite of mine. This is by The Balm. It's a, it's a killer product. Do you see um, what it can do? You can use it intensely, or it's the most perfect highlight that doesn't, if you want to strobe, which I'm not a fan of, do you know how many people do this? I don't understand it. You, you see this all the time now, right? You, so you see how powerful Mary Lou Manider is? You, you know how everybody does this right now? Or even worse, they all do this. The exclamation point. Right? They all do this. Now, do you see what just, now, okay, I exaggerated it a little bit. Let me take it down. Um, okay, that's about what people do now. Do you see how ridiculous that looks? Take a look at so many people's pictures, right? Um, you've seen I made my nose the focal point, but did you also see how much longer I made it? And did you see how I made the tip of it go up like an elves? Everybody's doing this because people on Instagram and YouTube don't know what they're doing. So they blow, um, they blow techniques. Let me see if I can get some of this off. They blow, um, techniques out of proportion. Now, do you see when my nose looks more natural, there's a little shine on it. Well, now I can't get rid of it because it's richly pigmented. But be careful about when you blindly follow people. I hope I made my point about that. Um, okay, let's talk about some, you know, people wanted my opinions on some products. People put up some names of products and wanted my opinion on Jeffree Star products. Here's the deal with them. They're, they're really made for pros. They're great, right? Pros and um, people who love makeup, uh, uh, you know, uh, aficionados, right? They're great for the pigment in them is extremely rich. They're richly pigmented, which for me is a, is, is a must in those products. So they're, they're, an, they're, they're an A plus. Elf Cosmetics. Guys, guys, Elf Cosmetics are great like they're great and they're cheap it's like they're great they were developed for pros like here we are in um an eyeshadow palette right like look at this look at this okay look at that look at it they're great it's great so you know you you, you want to get yourself a little elf Here's my feeling, guys. Go for it. It is a quality product. It's made for pros. It has a pro feel. The brushes are beautiful. There are great ways to build your kit smartly and cheaply. Elf. Elf is a must. Okay. Estee Lauder Foundations. Here's my feelings on foundation, guys. Use what you love. Use what you love. When we were on Project Runway, we were using, we were using some L'Oreal foundations. They were eight bucks a bottle, right? Now they're 11 or 12. Uh, they were eight bucks a bottle. Anything can be used well if you use them correctly. Someone asks, what about the e.l.f. primers? I haven't tried the e.l.f. primers. Um, but, you know, try them. See what they're like, as long as they have a variety of them. Okay? Variety of them. But my guess is e.l.f. products are quality. They're created by makeup artists. They're not, it's not a cheap... Um, chintzy brand made to snatch your money. It's a smartly made brand that just happens to be inexpensive. So um, I highly recommend it. Uh, several times the question has gone by, what moisturizer do I recommend? For your kit, it's smart to have Embryolease. Every pro carries Embryolease. It's a very smart product to have in your kit. But if you really want to dazzle your clients and you're willing to spend money, get the Charlotte Tilbury moisturizer. Everybody's obsessed with it, right? Um, it's pretty fantastic, but it's expensive. Um, okay, um, what are my feelings? Oh, right, this was really fascinating. And I did not have an opinion on this because I'd never even heard of it. But um, Karina, the woman who solves everything, made sure that I got my hands on this. This is the, um, the foundation that claims to be color changing. Interesting, right? Now there are lots of color adjusting foundations and there are some that do really well. Here's the Beauty Society ones that I'm always talking about, right? Here it is, Perfect 10. This can be used on a spectrum of people and it moves to match their shades. I love it. But what about this? Now, I'm sure a lot of you haven't heard about it. I hadn't, and there's those of you that have. Here's how it comes out. There it is. It's completely white. So, let's talk about it. Let's use my hand. Here's my hand, okay? I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put this on, get it from that one. Now let's take it and let's um, put it on my hand. Is that adjusting to my color or is that just still white? It's white, okay? So what this product is, is it's an illusion. Um, this, I would never, oh, and it's really highly fragranced, people. Be extremely, extremely, extremely careful. It's highly fragranced and fragranced products can sensitize people, can cause issues for people who have any kind of um, sensitivity. Oh, I'm glad you asked about facial sprays. Another must, must, must for me in my kit is Scandinavia. I know it's such an interesting name. Scandinavia, right? I love Scandinavia. I set my makeup with this, it lasts forever. Now, um, back to this product. 
it's not it hasn't changed color because if it changed color I would be able to take this tissue and take it off and well sure enough look at that it did it did come to some color uh, that surprises me because here's the thing about oh well, I hadn't tried that before I wish I had guys we're learning it live you know um, let's try this again so I put this on and what I had found when I used it because I was testing it I test a lot of things on myself right so I was testing it it's super the perfume of it's awful that I'll tell you they wish they would take that out but what I was seeing in it is the TLM um, works mostly on illusion so it's a, it's a lot of reflectivity, so it's not gonna give you great coverage. It's something to use on people who don't need a lot of product or something to just throw on when you walk out the door. Um, all right, um, two other foundations to talk about. Um, RCMA and um, Mayron Makeup, right? They're good. RCMA is amazing. You want a great one, get the Kevin James Bennett palette from RCMA. If you guys aren't following Kevin James Bennett on Instagram, follow him. He is going to give you so much information and truth about the industry. So follow Kevin James Bennett for sure. Okay. Um, and instant pore eraser by skin baby. It's great. It's, it's a primer, right? Do, um, I, any primer that you love and is ingredient appropriate for your client's skin, use it. Um, all right. So let me remind you guys about the promotion and then we're going to go into the Q and a, and I know we're going a little bit over, so I'll answer your questions quick. And if we don't get to all your questions, we'll, We'll do like we did um, last week and we'll create a little newsletter and we'll let those go out, right? So once again, when you sign up, you're going to get the um, the school palette and the school um, awesome makeup kit, which we talked about, and all the additional pro items. Anybody who's a new student will get all of that and existing students will get all the additional items and everybody's um, courses will be an 89 down payment and lower monthly payments, okay? And I believe that does expire at the end of this month, so take advantage. Um, Additionally, that's it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to um, I'm going to see if Karina wants to. If there were any questions that people have, now's the time to post them. Um, stay on the topic of um, the kit and kit products um, predominantly, right? Um, and if there's something else you guys want covered, just let Karina know, and those are um, things that we will answer and cover. But I'm I'm waiting to see from her right now if um, if there's any questions um, that are going to come through, and if there are, we'll answer those. If there are not, we are going to wind down. All right, got some questions. Got some questions. Um, first question: Can I can you use BB cream for primer and foundation? Well, BB cream is very light, right? It's very light. It's very sheer. Um, it's not it's not something that I fully recommend okay if it's something that like I use um BB creams and those tinted moisturizers products like that I use them a lot on men men who need a little bit of luminosity right that's something that I um that I um recommend a lot um but in terms of using it as a primer I wouldn't BB creams creams they absorb they'll pull your product in primers create a barrier and a layer it sits above keeps your product alive on your face now somebody said what happened with the primer um, with the color changing foundation and my feedback is this it actually does change color not a lot it um it adjusts right but it works mostly on illusion it's a lot of reflectivity because when I was putting it on I wasn't getting anywhere near the cover I use a beautiful primer my favorite I don't use it on any of my clients. I use it on myself. I use this primer by Dermalogica that has a little bit of color. It's all I'm wearing on my skin right now, but it, it really perfects my skin without me having to use any additional um, coverage. And this product, um, the foundation that I was showing you guys, the color adjusting foundation, it gave me so much less coverage that the primer that I was using gave me more coverage. If someone's skin is nearly perfect and you just want that extra glow from within, then this is a great product, okay? Um, other than that, you might not have the pigment you want to really um, deliver to your clients. All right, uh, let me see right now. Um, Harleen, is having a palette of foundation then buying um, all different, is better than buying all different shades? Uh, depends, depends on your taste and what you want. I have never been a fan of big palettes of product. That's why I told you guys that I love these three custom color specialist ones, see? I can mix everything I need. Oh, it's hard for me to show you guys. You see the varying tones there now? Um, I can mix everything I need from what's in here. I can mix everything I need. So something like that's brilliant for me. Do I, but do I want something that's got like a million shades in it and I gotta carry around this big thing? I don't. 
So I carry small amounts of product that I can mix to deliver what I need. That's um, that's that's what I do. Um, uh, Tori, um, what do you apply your loose glitter with? You use glitter primer, but you see so many using glue. I don't use glue. I don't use glue. I use um, I use a glitter primer as well. So Sephora, um, a bunch of companies have those primers that are just really they almost you touch them and you gotta like warm them up. They have great um, they have great like hold and like uh, oh someone says you know regarding my favorite clients who are my favorites and uh, what was the most demanding one uh, I'm not gonna tell you the most demanding one because I don't want to uh, badmouth anybody but there's um there's one person that I won't work with and it's because she made my job so hard I'll tell you um I'll tell you what she did I won't tell you who she was I will tell you she has Academy Awards um, she was on her phone so much that I couldn't do her eyes. She was just down. And I'd say, um, could you look up for me? She'd go, and then break back down. So I gave her a red lip. I gave her a red lip and I put some mascara on. She tried to hire me again and again and again, did the same thing every time. So I won't work with her anymore. Um, nah. um, but some of my favorite clients, um, if you guys know who Jennifer Tilly is, she's People, a lot of people know her because she's the character who played the Bride of Chucky. But she's been in a million things. She's amazing. She's so funny. Um, you know who else is um, a delight? Leah Michelle is a Kate McKinnon is a joy, just a joy. She's hysterical. It's hard to do her job, your makeup, because she's so funny. Um, who uh, Nia Vardarlos from my Big Fat Creek wedding is spectacular. She's a gem of all gems. Um, Audra McDonald, the broad, the legendary Broadway um, talent. She's um, the voice of the wardrobe in Beauty and the Beast. She's um, a Emmy-nominated TV actress. She's amazing. God, the Paul McCartney was so wonderful. Liza Minnelli is RuPaul is so sweet. There's so many of them. I, I really just, I I don't think I could um. I don't think I could name any favorites. But there's only been one. Oh, two. There's a musical theater legend that I don't like and I won't work with anymore, but I won't tell you her name. Um, okay, so I've got some more questions here and then we're gonna wrap it up. Can you ask a random question? Well, I guess you can, because it's appeared here for me. Depending on your client and um, what it is they are attending or where they are going, will it determine what products you use? Yeah. Yeah, but the, it all comes down to finding out what people's tastes are, right? So you got to stand back and you've got to um, say, okay, what are they trying to achieve? Um, but to be completely honest, my favorite products, I can, they can tell me what they want and I can utilize my products in any way I need to to get them what they're going for. But that's also the extreme importance of understanding classic technique, right? So it's the technique that will allow you to get way more use and diversity out of your products. So yes, but no. Does that make sense? Um, okay, uh, let me see what's next. Um, Nelly, um, do you get the same makeup application with the spoolies though? Um, no, no you don't. Because they put so much time and development cost into those brushes to deliver these really specific effects, right? Um, no, you don't. But it's about learning how to use those spoolies to get what you need, right? So can you, can you get what you need? Yes, yes, but it takes practice, it takes learning, it takes playing with them. Do you prefer brush or sponges to apply foundation? I don't like sponges, I don't like sponges. I use brushes. Um, this is the brush that I use all the time. It's by Cover FX, I love it. See how it's pointed? When you're using this brush, see how it can become a flat foundation brush? Pretty amazing, right? But it's clean, so look at this. Look at how well it goes around the nose, look at that. Look at how well it curves below the eye. And then, you know, you just tap it on the skin, round it out again, and if you need additional, if you need spot coverage somewhere, you can use the fine tipped point. I love it. I'll clean that in a minute. Um, I love it, that's what I recommend. Um, I'm seeing a question here. Was there a time in your life when you thought makeup is something that provides color to those who want color in life? Let me see what this is. Um, well, I think I know what you mean by that, and this is the best way I can answer it. Um, part of what brought me into makeup and why I'm so passionate about it is it changes people's self-esteem. Um, when people look better, they feel better. 
they live better lives so that can add color to people's lives because where once there was insecurity and lack of confidence shoulders go back chin goes up people feel like a million bucks I was wickedly bullied I was wickedly made fun of and it was because I was morbidly obese and covered in pimples and I was every and I I was everything that everybody makes fun of right I was the school gay boy I was obese and I was covered in pimples. Let's just say that's not a recipe for popularity, right? It certainly isn't. Probably isn't anymore as it was then when I was growing up, right? So w couldn't do anything right away about my obesity. Had to work on that slow and steady. Um, couldn't do anything about my sexuality. It's who I was. It's how I was born. But you know what I could do? I 100% could do something about my skin. I could learn to take care of it and I could learn how to clean it up, clear it up, so that I felt good in my own body. And I saw that that has been an amazing thing for everybody. When, no matter who you are, when you look better, you feel better, you live a better life. That's a gift we can give people. And it's a gift we give ourselves. And that's why makeup is so beautiful, right? And that's why we have, um, oh God, that's why we have uh, so many opportunities to. You know, I read something really interesting today. And I'm going to share this with you guys. And I know we're running long, so I apologize for that. Um, I saw this thing that I that I thought was... Um, someone asks how big the professional bag should be. Let me show you how big mine is. And there's a ton of space in it. This is my bag, guys. It's right here. It's tiny. And it's never full. It's never full. I carry it on my shoulders. Um, and I've never, never not had something that I need. Okay? So um, the thing that I saw on Facebook that deeply moved me was um, it said, I want to share a story. I was driving behind a car today and it said, please be patient, patient with me. I'm learning to drive stick. It was handwritten and ta um, taped to the back of the window. Now, anybody who's tried to drive st stick, it's difficult, right? So they, um, the, the person wrote, I read that and I was very patient with them. And then they wrote, then I had to ask myself, would I have been so patient if that note wasn't on the back? Get you thinking, doesn't it? And then they wrote below it. This was a lesson to me. People don't wear, I was just diagnosed with cancer on their back the way that car did. People don't wear, I'm ashamed of my body because everybody makes fun of me on their back the way that was on that car. They don't lay on their back, my father just died. They don't lay on their back, a million other things, right? And I found that to be an extremely powerful thing because how often do we get angry at people for like the stupidest things? I'm guilty of it too, we're all guilty of it, right? But, and that's why this connects to beauty, right? Because this gives us a chance to give that warmth and that love to people. It's a fantastic thing. That's part of why I end, um, for those of you that have watched webinars with me before, I always end by saying if nobody's told you yet today that they love you, let me be the first. And it's true, I do love all of you. I think we all have to love each other. And it's one of the best things we can do. We, we are a race of humans in it together. We're not in it alone. And the more kindness and love we can give to people, the better. But guys, that's why you're in this industry. You are in this industry because you love people, right? You're in this industry because you're passionate and you want to make people feel great. That's why you're in this industry. And that's a powerful gift you give to people and it's inspiring and I thank you all for being so passionate and for being so loving and having so much to give because you change people's lives and your own is changed through it because when you see the good you bring to other people it um my mind would be blown if you you aren't just moved by how much their lives are changed because of and when you think about it in the grand scheme it's a silly thing that we do you know something like this and a little bit of this and then suddenly someone's moved to tears because they realize for the first time maybe in a long time that they're beautiful well what kind of gift is that that you're giving to people there's no words for that it can't help but have an effect and an impact on you and giving that gift to other people is going to make you a better person makeup is a beautiful thing guys it's a beautiful thing and there is a need for us in this world. There is a need for us. So those of you that are here and those of you that are giving it your all and those of you that are pushing to be the best that you can be, you're being the best for people who really need you. It's extraordinary. It's an extraordinary thing. Because even though it's the, a bride and it's the happiest day of her life, she's got insecurities. She's got things that make her really unhappy. She's got fears. And when you can make her see herself 
in the way probably everyone else sees her, but the only person who doesn't see her that way is her. When you can do something like that, you've changed her life. You've given her a day she'll never forget, right? That's why makeup's so invaluable. That's why the education in it is so important. And that's why I think, you know, you guys pursuing this and giving your heart and soul to it is the most admirable thing. And that's why I teach you the way that I do. That's why I will always give my all to you because you're giving your all to other people. And like I said, the world needs us. You know, these past few years, makeup's been very good to me, guys. It's been very good to me. So I'll tell you something I don't tell a lot of people. Um, in the last few years, I have been refusing a lot of my clients. I've been, my favorites I'm still working with, but a lot of new clients, I'm not taking them. Um, I'm putting the, ma the majority of my focus on educating so that there can be a force, a force of good people out there offering beautiful, beautiful, true application to people and making people feel fantastic. But the majority of jobs I've been doing, no joke, for probably the last three years, I have probably done way more, I'm because I'm working all the time, guys, but I would say at least 50% of the work that I do is charity. At least 50%. At least 50% of the work that I do, I am completely unpaid for, and I'm not even given a kit fee. I'm not telling you this for any other reason than to tell you I do it because of what it does for my soul. And... You know, I'm not suggesting that you all do that. You're not in a place yet where you can, but you might get there eventually. Makeup is a gift and it's it's ours to give, right? And so for me, it's not about chasing the money. It, it isn't. And honestly, money's never been my goal, right? My, my goal, I, I want to survive. I want to survive. I want to be happy. I want to have things I want, right? But I've never had a, 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 a champagne taste, so to speak, right? So I would much rather do an entire day working for free for something that's gonna raise, like I did a a, chari a huge charity event, it raised over a million dollars. I busted my butt for it. The prep work, it took me days. But that raised a million dollars for people who had no insurance, women who need mammograms, people who couldn't get their doctor's appointments. The stuff that we can do for human beings, it's no different when you apply makeup on people, guys. You're changing their lives. You're making them feel like a million bucks, whether they're paying you or whether they're not paying you. It's a beautiful thing. Right? So the, the greater you can offer that gift to people, the, the, the better you'll be. Now, um, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Um, I've got another question here from Flory. Uh, would you adapt your style to the new makeup trend that um, we see on the media these days? No. I don't do trendy makeup. If I mean, if someone comes in and asks for something specific, of course I do it. But trendy makeup is YouTube Instagram. If you really look around, you don't... Where do you see cut creases aside from YouTube and Instagram? Where do you see the ombre eyebrow aside from YouTube and Instagram? When you learn classic techniques, you should be adapting them to your client's features, not choosing to layer a look on them. So did the answer to that, to that that I would say is no, I don't. I look at my client's features and I decide, I listen to what they want and then I think, okay, how am I gonna adapt my, um, my knowledge of these techniques to work best on their features? That's how I approach makeup, okay? So guys, we've run extremely long today. Um, it's my fault, I had a lot, this was, you know, it's a huge webinar, it's a lot to talk about. So those of you that were able to find me on this um, long lost channel that I somehow ended up on, thank you. Um, thank you guys for um, always tuning in for this additional education. It means the world to me. And um, I hope it helps you grow. And the greatest thing that I can say to you is, guys, tune in every month. It's free education, it's free knowledge, and anything you guys wanna learn about, um, let, let the team at QC know. Um, leave some comments here below. We can either lump it into a massive webinar, or if it's a big enough topic, we'll do its own webinar. Um, most important thing I can say to you guys, in case no one said it today, let me be the first. I love each and every one of you, and I want every one of you, at some point in the next 24 hours, please do this for me. Show some love and kindness to somebody in some way where you know you are deliberately doing it, okay? Try and do that for me sometime in the next 24 hours, all right? Um, build your kit slow and steady. If you're not taking a class, sign up for a class, guys. Learn skin, learn the advanced techniques, take global beauty, don't be afraid to push yourself, okay? And um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, remember, um, lower prices, awesome kit. Uh, still 50% off and additional awesome items for my existing students and here we are challenge yourselves guys challenge yourselves love yourselves 
love other people, and um, always, always do and give your best, okay? So um, with that, um, I will say good night. Um, and remember, you can keep leaving comments afterwards, so if you're suddenly thinking of a topic or something that you want to cover, never be afraid to leave it, okay? Um, I love you guys. Uh, make the world a better place. Share your kindness, share your love, but most of all, share your skill and talent because it changes people's lives, okay? Uh, so until I see you next time, a million kisses, a million hugs, and if you're ever in New York City, give me the hugs in person. All right, I love you guys. Bye-bye.